Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorial Thursday. We've covered working in two colors for plain brioche and tilde brioche. So this week we are going to have a look at the cast on and bind off in two colors so you can set up your columns in the colors you are going to work with and not just have one colored line at the bottom of your work. Let's have a look how that works. And with a two color cable cast on, we bind our yarns together, tie a knot, then we tie a slip knot with the dark color, put that on our needle. This is how I'm holding the yarns. We insert the needle through our slip knot. We grab the light color, place our new stitch on the needle, tuck everything into place a little bit. It's a bit fiddly at the beginning. Then we go in between these two stitches through the back. Grab the dark color, pull through, place the new stitch from the right hand needle to the left. And then again, go through these two stitches. Grab the light color, pull through, place it on the left hand needle. You keep alternating between your two colors, always going between the last stitch you've created and the one before that. Until you have the desired number of stitches on your needle. And this is what it looks like. For the Italian cast on, we tie a knot, place that on our right hand needle, we are putting the knot on the top and then grab our yarns with the dark one in the back or above the light one to the front and this is how we are going to hold it you hold your slip knot and we are going below the light color under the dark and pull through under the light color again then we go behind the dark over the light, under and pull under the dark color. And again, for the dark stitch, we go under the light, above the dark and pull through under the light color. We go behind the dark, over the light color and pull the strand under the dark. Under the light color, above over the dark and under the light color. For the light colored stitch behind, grab our yarn, pull under the dark. this cast on you work 
as many stitches as you need but you always end with the same color as the one you started with so if you leave your stitches like this they're going to just slip back off your needle so you're going to grab the last light colored stitch you worked unravel your last dark colored stitch be careful to leave that little twist you have here and then you do a backward loop and place that on your needle tuck it into place and you've got your stitches secured and you're ready to start your setup row I've gone ahead and worked a couple of rows. This is what the Italian cast on looks like once you've started working. You can also untie your knot once you have a couple of rows because your stitches are secure then. This is what the two color bind off looks like and I'm going to unravel that and show you how to actually work it. Um, I just wanted to point out that I worked this one with the same needle size as I've worked my stitches and because of that my stitches are being pulled in and the whole works looks kind of wonky so once you go about your bind off with brioche always go up one or two needle sizes to adjust for that so that it doesn't get pulled in. I thought this is a good time to show you how to pick up your stitches if you take them off the needle if you have to uh, take stitches out this is what it looks like so we have our seventh stitch our knit column and clearly visible the pearl column and the yarn over just go in and pick them back up Unless you work with a slippery yarn, your stitches should stay like this and not unravel completely, so it's relatively easy to pick them back up. And pick up the yarn over. Your knit column, the pearl, and the yarn over. So there we go, our stitches back on the needle and ready for our bind off. I'm going to go with a six millimeter needle. I've been working on a four millimeter needle. When you bind off in two colors, what you have to keep in mind is that you always work with the opposite color from the column that you're working. So if you work, you've got the light colored column, you're working it with the dark color. If you've got the dark colored column, you're working it with the light color. The reason is that once you bind off the stitch, you pass this stitch over you've worked this one in the dark color you pass it over here so it's going to lie over the dark column for everything else you work the stitches as they appear so we've got the upcoming stitch the column is light so we are going to work this stitch in the light color knit the light column in the dark one Pass this stitch over and as you can see it's lying here. Then we've got the dark colored pearl column. We are going to pearl that stitch with the light color and pass our stitch over. Work the light column with the dark color. Bind off and go through that to the other end of the our stitches. And you can already see that your 
star columns are lying over the dark. And here the light colored stitches are over the light column. Let's stitch the brioche pearl column. So work the light column with the dark color, pass the last stitch over. Pearl our dark column, pass the stitch over. And here you go, one last stitch. This is what our bind off edge looks like afterwards. It's nice and stretchy and not pulled in as it was before on the same needle size as we've worked. So keep that in mind. Always work the stitches in the opposite color for the bind off and go up in needle size. That's all for this week. Next week we are going to have a look at honeycomb brioche. I hope I see you then. Have a good week.